Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now today guys, I have one of my, or a few of my, Ripsalis Pendiliflora cactus plants, epiphytic cactus plants, that I've got here in this big hanging basket. And um, a mixture of a few different types of this particular um, epiphytic uh, Ripsalis plant. And this one here, I'm happy to say, is in the most tiniest and tiniest of little flower today and also buds and um, lots of lovely juicy berries too and before I go any further I want to give a very special um, hello to my wonderful friend Aljen on Facebook so hi Aljen and um, I just want to know thank you um, so much for all your support and everything on Facebook I just want to give a little special thank you out there and thank you all so much everybody as well for all of your support always on my channel you guys are absolutely amazing and um just wanted to, to mention that there and i just want to show the little tiny little flowers here they're so tiny now the macro is not brilliant on this camera so it's probably just be if i go any closer than that it's just going to be completely blurred and out of focus but these are the tiny tiny tiniest of little white gorgeous little flowers there they're like two little tiny stars absolutely beautiful to see if I can go any further without it getting too. I don't know if you can really see there. It's very, it's very out of focus if I go any close than that. But they're just adorable, and uh, lots of little buds as well. These are the little buds all on here, as you can see there, and absolutely full of it. More little buds, and then here we have little, little seed pods forming there little berries and these type of look at all the berries on there as well these type of epiphytic cacti are commonly known as the mistletoe cacti purely because of how they look i mean they're very much like mistletoe and especially when they actually have the berries on them like that they do resemble very much like mistletoe would be and they often flower and form these berries around the winter time so it's very good timing with christmas and the new year as you can imagine show the lovely lovely berry there look at that one and uh, all of these just starting to form on there absolutely gorgeous and as I say this is this particular um, ripsol is, is the pendiliflora one it grows a lovely long sort of pendant stems and there's a few different varieties in here this one is another different one again not quite sure of the variety this one but it's much more of a clumping um, a tighter knit one there and a few different ones this one is more of a thinner version of the one I've got there few different types this one again here is very different it comes out sort of on a long stem and all little groups all together there absolutely beautiful plant and have another one a little bit similar here again now this particular one also grows on a long a long hanging stem coming down with like a bunch of all these little trailing stems absolutely gorgeous and this is my hanging basket stand where I have a lot of my um, ripsalis cactus plants on I'll just put the lights on a little bit dark now hopefully it might help a little bit the camera a few of my ripsalis here this is the ripsalis crispata this one is my ripsalis paradoxa and again this one's also one of the mistletoe cacti because of how it looks and that's nicknamed the mistletoe cactus as well and this one is another one of my ripsalis here absolutely gorgeous one this ripsalis alborealata albo there this is also all in bird absolutely fantastic and this one uh, well the ripsalis here pilocarpa another version of it down here too and uh, these probably all start to flower now or come into flower i should think over the winter months so hopefully there'll be more of these flowering in the next couple of months but good to see this collection of the ripsalis um the pendant form and i say this one is the pendiflora lovely to see this absolutely lovely with all these lovely trailing stems there and full of berries i just wanted to share the beauty with you absolutely lovely and if you want to know a little bit more on how to care for epiphytic cacti they're very different to the the desert type of cacti then please do check a video i have made on how to care for epiphytic cacti including the epiphyllums and the the ripsalis variety links to that video up above and also, if you want to see an, in, the whole collection of my epiphytic cactus plants, I have epiphyllums and also the slumbergera, the commonly known as Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, also, in the whole collection that I have, do please watch a video I have made on my uh, epiphytic cactus plant collection. Links also up above and at the end of this video. And uh, also, um, if you want to know what is the difference between a desert cactus 
and an epiphytic cactus, then watch the video I've made, how to tell the difference between epiphytic cactus and a desert cactus. Links also up above. And so there you go, guys. So that's the tiny little flowers. And as I say, flowers come in all sizes and they're all so beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that. I'll just take you away just so you can see how, how large will this be collection of um, Ripsalis Pentiflora is here. So guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you all so much for your continued support, all of you, and your amazing comments and all your likes. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications when I upload more videos. And please do check out my website as well, Desert Plants of Avalon. Dot com for lots of tips and tricks on how to care for your cacti and succulents. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye. Bye. Cutie.